braces? Um, I think almost two years. Okay, it has to be. Okay, good. Um, good. Hey everyone, this is Abby, your ortho hygienist here at Tooth Time. Today is a really fun video I'm excited to talk to you about. It's in a tongue crib appliance, but first, you know the drill. Please go ahead and like our, our videos, go ahead and subscribe and comment below. And come on, let's get started. Opening now. So the first video that you're watching is just a video of what we're going to go ahead and explain on what a tongue crib appliance. So stay tuned towards the end. We're going to show you all the photos in the video, so don't go anywhere. So what a tongue crib appliance is, is an appliance that goes on the top of your palate. It's usually used for someone who has a bad habit of sucking their thumb or th tongue thrusting. So tongue thrusting is usually when you, like if you bite down and you swallow, you're gonna push your tongue against like the front of the back of your teeth. And usually that appliance, the tongue crib, will help avoid or prevent any of that bad habit. Here is a quick video of the process of how we use a tongue crick appliance. So usually we'll place some spacers to create some space in between the molars. We'll then go ahead and bring them back, take some impressions to go ahead and have those moldings done for the appliances. And then they'll come back and we'll finally deliver the appliance. Much later. So in this video, this patient, when she first started her braces, she was 10 years old. Um, we estimated anywhere over 24 months. She went ahead and wore the appliance for about eight months, which you can see in this video. And then when she hit about 12 months mark, we went ahead and we placed a thicker wire on the top and bottom. So if you have any questions on this video or any more comments, just go ahead and click on the link above and it'll take you directly to there. much much late that's what we call an 18 by 25 wire which the, you'll be able to know which wire it is so on the top you'll see what we call like a little mountain in between the two front teeth like what we what people always say your buck teeth but it's the two front teeth you'll have like a little mountain shape on the wire and that's the wire that we put on and then when we use that wire on top um, it can sometimes create space which is diastomas in the front two teeth so we'll go ahead and put a power chain from the two laterals on the top right to the top left to go ahead and help maintain any closures and prevent any space and if you want to know any more about lace ties so ligature ties or rubber bands um, you can go ahead and click on the link above and we'll go ahead and take you right to those videos much 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 later so we're going on 23 months with our patient in orthodontic treatment we've already removed the appliance uh, remember she had it on about eight to nine months and the reason why we're struggling a little bit is because the patient is struggling with rubber bands so sometimes what happens when the treatment is delayed is because non-compliance of rubber bands you know, um, missed appointment and especially hygiene as well. If you are not doing good at home and brushing your teeth, keeping up with your oral hygiene, that can definitely delay the process of the treatment. But most importantly, you have to make sure you're dedicated, you're committed to wearing those rubber bands because it's like homework for you that is given to you from your orthodontist to do at home. So in this patient, we went ahead and refreshed the chain on the top, which is from a 66. So it's gonna be from molar to molar on the top right to the upper left. And on the bottom, we refreshed the lower singles, which is the little just color single circles that go around the brackets. Now, if you're wondering why is it that you're doing singles on the bottom and chains on the top, it's because probably more than likely either the patient, patient has a little bit of space on the top that we need to close or we need to maintain. So as you can see, this patient did a fantastic job at keeping up with her oral hygiene. That means she used the recommended products we were given to her, which you can click 
click on the link above and it'll take you directly to her store to any recommended oral hygiene products so she went ahead and used her water pick really well she brushed really good and what this helps with is avoidance of plaque accumulation remember that plaque accumulation will cause gingivitis and gingivitis is like the reddenings of your gums so when you start to see any bleeding from your gums it's usually because you have some gingivitis that you've let some plaque sit around your gums or your teeth for a while so you want to make sure that you use your water pick, you brush, you use your tooth bristles, and you floss. Flossing will also make sure that you remove any of the plaque in between the teeth and underneath the gum line. Where the rubber band from back here, from there, up to this one right here. So here is the best part of all. Now you'll get to see the what we have achieved with the appliance after that we have removed it and how great the patient's teeth and bite look. So get ready and let's start. So guess what? Yes, we are here thanking you again so much for all the support you have given our office, our page. We are almost at 160K likes for the year. We are hoping to shoot for 200K. So go ahead and like the button above, subscribe, comment below, and let us know anything else you'd like to see. If you have any questions um, over hygiene, over more of the braces of the video, don't hesitate to comment below. We'll do our best to reach back out. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. like braces content and you want to see more make sure you like subscribe and comment down below yeah